Ondo State, Ayode Demoradeo. Now, from Ondo, Ondo let's um, turn our attention now to Niger State, where civil servants in that state have commenced a strike over unmet demands by the government bothering on issues of uh, political appointment made by the governor for members of the civil service. The union instructed its members to desist from work in a memo released on Tuesday, the 20th of February, demanding that the state governor reverse the appointments of executive directors of ANIN, finance and operations in compliance with the civil service rule. Our correspondent, um, Tenemi, is standing by. Tenemi Bami is standing by to give us an update. Um, Tenemi, tell us, I, I know you've talked about how this is about um, the appointments being made by the governor. But give us an update on this. What's the state now? Is there a, a dialogue going on between the state government and the uh, protesting civil servants? At the labor house, like you can see, the signpost behind the reading. Yesterday, the government tried to have a dialogue between the organized labor, but it's obviously ended in a deadlock. Uh, that is why so that is why the strike was embarked on this morning. We went round some of some, some agencies went to the secretariat, which was under lock and key, and some important um, parasitas like the health, the primary health care centers around town were also shut down. And right now, the state, the, the organized labor are planning to have to speak to the press shortly after now, which is why I am here. And I would know whether they've been able to come to any sort of compromise because I heard that this morning they met with the secretary to the state government and also the speaker of the House of Representatives, you know, to see how they can come to a dialogue. It's simply over issues of political appointments. The organized labor believes that some of the appointments made were supposed to be civil service uh, personnel that will occupy those positions and not the governor appointing them like the executive director of uh, finance, admin and operations. They believe that they are already directors in those ministries occupying positions like that. So there was no need for appoint for those appointments. Also they are also asking the government the governor to reverse um certain appointments of permanent secretaries of, 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 of a particular one was um, a vice principal that was on secondment and that was appointed as a permanent secretary just recently. They said that um, the, every civil servant should go through the ranks, which is part of the uh, civil service rules. And also um, commissioners and permanent commissioners of local government service commission and the civil service commission, they're asking that some that some of the appointments made should be reversed. I think that if the government and the organized labor can just sit down on the round table. I think they can come to a compromise and work to resume in no due time in Niger State. Mm. And, and if, if this um, if these appointments are not reversed, I mean, what's the, what would then be the, the position of organized labor in Niger State? Well, it's important to also note that this is the first time that organized labor uh, is having a, a, a clash so to say, with the government since the coming in of this administration, the deputy governor of the state was the immediate past um, labor chairman in the state. So since they came on board, there appears to have been some level of um, understanding between both parties. But right now, it appears that it's taking issues are taking a different turn. If this, uh, if these appointments are not reversed or some level of compromise is not achieved. I don't think that these people will resume more any moment. I think the organized labor will really want to make um, their position known and they want to make their stand felt. Mm. Um, I, you, I know you said there is a press briefing. I'm sure we'll I'll speak with you and get more updates um, from you after that press briefing. Thank you so much for this update. Uh, Chinami Bami, your correspondent live for us there in Niger State. Let's now turn attention to oh, sorry, the Department of State 